Well folks, it's high time I showed you another one of my adventures. This route is a loop of my own creation that begins and ends in Quilcene, Washington. It's pretty tough, with 10,000 feet of climbing in its 80 mile distance, and 5,400 feet in the first day alone. But it rewards you with mountain views, sweet ribbons of seldom used single track, and shelters along the way that you can camp in. This trip was my third time venturing out in this area, but only my second time riding the completed route. Welcome to the Bon John Single Track Loop. Over here is where the road splits. I'm going right, and in two days' time, I'll be coming back on the left side. started what will be probably five miles of climbing. It's gonna be kind of hard. Oh man. Nearly at the top of this thing, but I think I forgot how big these climbs are. It's crazy. And I'm about to lose all the elevation, or almost all of it. And I have to do it again before camp. made it to the top of the climb. It was way more than I was expecting. It's funny how you forget how hard things are. But uh, I'm just about to drop into the three o'clock ridge trail. And uh, it's pretty dusty on the way up. Good thing I had this mask. Turns out I brought it for two reasons. So that was pretty nice. But, uh, trying to do some filming on the way down. But uh, I'm ready to be done. for 10 hours last night. Well, the last shot you will have seen of me is when I was just getting onto the trail that goes down the hillside that I spent so many hours climbing. Uh, unfortunately, the GoPro does the glitchy thing every now and then and it just stopped working. So all the lovely bar cam jankity 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 footage from that <laughs> was lost. It didn't matter anyway because it was getting so dark uh, the camera wouldn't have been able to see anything. Unfortunate. Wish I would have left earlier in the day actually. That would have made it better. So I uh, ended up camping at this really cool shelter. It's called Camp Ron. Apparently a family rebuilt it in 1985 and they keep coming back here because um, it reminds them of their grandfather who passed in the last five years. It was like a little log book. Um, you can like hear everybody's stories or read everybody's stories as you uh, fall asleep. Uh, it's pretty cool. And it's right next to the river. Beautiful. I took my time packing up and then headed up river on the lower Dungeness Trail. This is a beautiful trail where it exists, but it's been the victim of several bad washouts and years of neglect. The route drops into the Dungeness Valley where it does, in order to avoid the worst of the washouts further downstream.
After the trail and a short, steep gravel climb, you come to a parking lot for the Gold Creek and Tuple Can trail systems. All the cars in the parking lot might make you worried about congestion on the trail, but actually most of the hikers go up the Tubal Can Trail into the Buckhorn Wilderness. I didn't see anyone on the Gold Creek Trail this day. This is such a cool trail. It's so smooth and uh, trends slightly downhill. So you just sit there and cruise along, it's so great. It's starting to open up on the side, you can see some views. Pretty sweet. Definitely worth a road climb. After the Gold Creek Trail, you turn right onto the Sleepy Hollow Trail. It's an old road grade that takes you over to the Mount Zion parking lot. I brought my saw for this trip mostly because there were a lot of overgrown sections along here last time, but I was surprised to find out that it had been cleared pretty recently. The only thing I had to contend with was tall grass and swarms of gnats at head height for miles. Well, quick update. I finished the trails. I'm headed towards Mount Zion, but I'll be on fire roads. Ran through a crap ton of tall grass. Got uh, quite a lot of seeds on my socks. But uh, I'm in good spirits. And I'm feeling a lot better than I remember feeling at this point last time. That bodes well for the Mondo climb I have ahead of me. So I'm at the top of Mountain Zion Trailhead. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to go up. I've always been curious to go up, but I've never had the energy once I'm here. So right now I'm going to do pretty awesome downhill and then I was looking at the trail data it's not the longest climb it just takes you the highest um, so hopefully there's some good views it's kind of cloudy today so but they keep rolling in and out so we'll see what we can see up there the Mount Zion trail is open to bikes but as I said I've never had the energy for another mile and a half of climbing once I reach the trailhead if you come in the spring, this is a great area to see the rhododendrons, but water's not available unless it's been really wet, so camel up on Gold Creek beforehand. After a quick two-mile descent, I climbed up towards Bon John Pass, the last major climb on the route. hey -oh, made it to the top. Wasn't that bad. Just wish it wasn't so cloudy. Heading to camp now. Hopefully it's not too buggy there. Um, I'm ready to be done. Here I am at the Sink Lake Shelter. Spent the night here. Um, had a pretty good sleep. Just kind of pitched my, didn't pitch anything. Put my pad on the ground over there. Flipped underneath the roof. The roof is kind of sketchy. Definitely in worse shape than the uh, river camp uh, from last night. But uh, I had a good campfire, so that made the night longer and more pleasant. Um, it's a really cool forest in here. I love how open the ground is and how tall the canopy is. It feels like a cathedral. Um, so it's kind of a cool place to come, even though the shelter and the stream are not as primo as um, <coughs> River Camp on the Dungeness. So today my itinerary is just to head down um, the forest road. It's paved, but it's really fast downhill, so it should be fun. Then I have a small climb, and then I'm doing some of what I think is the sweetest riverside single track um, close to Seattle. So it's like 20 miles to get home, but most of it is downhill. So um, it's going to be pretty quick. And then it's, uh, that's it. That's the, that's the trip.
So, hope you enjoyed it. Big Quilcene Trail. It is awesome. The sun is shining. And it's super fun and super pretty. I'm in these campsites that are right next to the river. I'd love to come here and camp one time, but then I have to bring a tent. And that would weigh me down a little more. So we'll see, but it's a really cool spot. We've got a lot more buff single track to go. And uh, it's such a nice way to end this little trip because it's so pretty and smooth and effortless. So I'm gonna keep riding.